right, so that was just the maiden voyage. Well, second voyage of the uh, the trailer that I built. If you want to uh, hear how I made it, the materials I used, then stick around. The bottom frame is made out of two inch square tubing and it is steel and it is off from an old boat trailer. The trailer was originally about five feet wide. I narrowed it down by 16 inches and the inside of this is about 32, 33 inches. Um, I built it that width because I wanted the ski stance to be outside of it and I also wanted the ski width from outside of ski to outside of ski to come close and not over to the width of these skis. These skis on the snowmobile are four foot outside to outside, 48 inches. These skis are 46. So they overlap a little bit. And when I get some runners, and I put the runners in here and in here, all the way the length of the skis on both sides, that'll stop it from sliding around on the trail, but it'll, it'll ride pretty close to the same where the runners are on here. So that'll also help it to stop darting. So that was my thought process on why I cut it down and um, it's about six foot long and rather than just make a box I came down at an angle just so that it looked a little bit better. So the frame is that boat trailer of course it used to come way out you know and be a lot bigger but that is all over in the barn there. The expanded metal I had laying around from another project so it really wasn't free but um, it's been hanging around for four or five years, so finally found something to put it to use to. Uh, this square stock is off an old dry erase board frame that was at the dump. The, the erase board was all crushed up, threw that out and just took this framework. And it was just enough to come around here on each side. And I had to use a piece of little square tubing for this cross member. Of course, the... <laughs> The fenders are from the trailer. Uh, it was one fender. I cut it in half and just tacked it on there just for aesthetics. I think it looks great. Um, I can also remove these by just unbolting them and put the wheels back on so I have a little trailer in the summertime too. So they may help stop some mud from getting up in there. I don't have a four-wheeler. I'll just be using it with the tractor if I use it at all out in the backwoods cutting wood and bringing it around. So that's uh, that's the gist of it. The suspension is from the original boat trailer. It had three springs in it, and I removed one. At that time, it was still a boat trailer, and it's five foot wide. And with the two springs, I'd stand on one side of it and bounce, and it had just right amount of suspension what I was looking for. Right now, since I narrowed it up, I put it together and I welded it all down in here, so I can't take it off without some pretty good modifications you don't have to cut that off from there take a spring out I'm just gonna leave it, it has about an inch of travel at this point right now um, but it's not as much suspension as, a, as I'd hoped for uh, this rod right here one inch rod three quarter inch rod is um, it's welded down here and it just comes up through this tube and that tube ends let me see if I can get you up in there ends right up in here and that is to keep the skis from to keep them in line with the trailer so that there isn't all the tension on the springs where it wants to go this way or that way uh, it'll help keep everything in line and that is also binding up a little bit when uh, with the suspension so it's not letting it ride up and down perfectly if I put a bigger piece of pipe on here or I shortened it up to about here that would serve the same purpose to keep everything lined up and not give it too much play to where I'm pulling back in here on these bushings and, and uh, there's rubber inside of here so uh, it would just be really sloppy if it didn't have this on there I think uh, one idea somebody told me is maybe take these and make them so they swivel and it might ride up through there smoother swivel and grease it up which is an idea but just showing you what I did and it works out all right normally a lot of the sleighs don't have any suspension, so, um, and a lot of them, they take the springs and put them on the skis, which I wanted to be able to unbolt them and put the wheels on, so that's why I did it like that. One of the reasons, plus it looks cooler. Um, the plywood I had laying around again from another project, it's been bought and paid for for a while, so I can't really say this was all for free, but 
Um, it's material I had laying around with no other purpose for it. The skis, originally from a dog sled trailer. These are the spare skis that they sell to replace them with, and it's just a ski. It doesn't have anything on it, doesn't have any holes for runners, nothing. It's just a ski. I welded it, just a few short beads along here, and if I ever have to replace it, I can just wash these welds off and weld another one on there. I've got plenty of meat here. I can, uh, you know, keep burning it off. If I don't want to just wash it off, I can cut that if I need to. But once I get the runners on there, that should last me my lifetime. The hitch on it has been made so that the hitch on it has been made so that it swivels right here. It's a three-quarter inch um, bolt inside of a piece of pipe, inside of another piece of pipe. It's really sturdy. I'm going to grind these corners down. I should still just thought of that. But it swivels and hooks up here where this swivels and rides like that. So you got plenty of play there. I also, one of the things I did was, also one of the things I did with the trailer is left this open. I may take a piece of metal and put it in here to neaten it up. But I left it open so you can hold on to that and you can put your knee on it, move it around while you're working with your other hand up here to hook it up. So that makes it pretty handy. It's pretty heavy. That's one of the, the downfalls of not using the aluminum that I've been planning on using. But this saved me a ton of work with the framing already being built. Just needing to make two or three cuts, shorten it all up. Weld it all back together and um, save me a lot of work. So I would say the weight on it is probably probably close to 150 pounds, 130, somewhere in there. You can see I gave myself some play. The square stock there was what was originally the axle. And I just cut and welded some pieces of rebar together to help hold everything together as well. You can see I didn't paint the bottom. As you can see the original red on the uh, on the frame. That was the trailer. We'll get some paint on it probably in the summer. And it is tongue heavy, but at the same time it only takes probably about 20 plant, maybe 20, 30 pounds of down pressure to push it down. So you can load some things in the back right. here. Well, thanks for sticking with me. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you like this video. And there'll be some more. And I'll start posting the build videos as I, uh, as I edit them. If people are interested, definitely make a comment below and let me know. I don't want to edit video and put it on if nobody's going to watch it. But if you need some information from it, if I can help you out with it, I definitely will. So, thanks for watching.